Well, it's nice to have all this wood double coated. And these are the two wedges that are going to go under the back and be mounted on the box itself so it'll sit flat on the trailer. And then where the tailgate goes, you need one not quite 48 inches long to support it where it goes across the back of the trailer. And all these are painted, doubled. Ends have four coats of primer and paint and uh, the reason those two are sitting up is I painted these the other day on three sides so all I had to do was roll it, flip it over and roll it. Well I flipped the first two, I didn't flip the first two and I put a third coat on that so after it got a little bit tacky, since the ends weren't wet, I put it up on this board so I could do the back side which needed a second coat. Next we can put this thing together. You can see with the old tailgate that it's flush on the top and it's three quarters all the way around the outside edge. And see this is the front of the trailer. This is three quarters of an inch overhang on the box. And if you picture this big board that's going to be on the bottom is going to be like that. So I have to screw this board in from the other side. I have to drill out this plywood in a pattern and put screws up here about an inch back and then every eight inches all the way down here a double row of screws. And then on this end where the tailgate is that's the frame of the tailgate and see how it has to be offset so that when you close this up the front the uh, box has three quarters down the bottom and it's flush right here with the frame of the tailgate and then it goes up inside of the plywood of the box so when we close that tailgate like this up the box it'll be flush here and this will be a this will cover the outside edge so water coming and raining on the side of this box will drain off the front and uh, not affect the bottom of the plywood which will be right here. And I've just marked this at three quarters of an inch and then I'll mark, mark these where I want to do it and I know I have to stay within three and a half inches so I'll come in here an inch and come in here an inch and run a row of screws and here's my storyboard you've seen it on other things that'll go on the end and I'll just put a mark there one inch from the end and I've marked this every eight inches this is the rear of the box and I just mark that every eight inches and then when I drill that plywood out and clamp this two by four where it's supposed to be I can then just run a bunch of wood screws in it and it's solid and then I have to do it for the the, other, the top which will be flush and easier to do and then I need to uh, mount these at an inch and then between it and then we put a, I'm putting a metal brace in and then that's the front and the front is going to be flush and so the plywood on the front will go down over this and be screwed into that in the box right there and it will cover that well I did get a little bit of work done on my box this weekend uh, that's uh, one. That's the right hand side and that's the left hand side and you can see that it's cut out for the tailgate to fold up under there and this is done that way. The top is uh, flat so I can cap it and this lip right here will go over this edge of this and then that 2x4 right there you'll screw this deck, the floor into that 2x4 and it'd be tucked under there so when this trailer's up this seam comes down and the plywood is under here and if you wanted to you could just run a bead of caulk which I probably will when you set this on I'll just caulk it but anyway all the holes are drilled out all the cross members are in everything's done it got nicked a little bit when you move it in and out and it gets heavy after a while and a roller will take care of that. <coughs> now all I got to do is the ends. Then I can put it together so maybe it'll get done by uh, 
the next day I'm here. Well, I cut two wedges uh, almost down to nothing, about less than a quarter of an inch because the trailer is three quarter of an inch lower in the back than in the front and that's to support the back end where the tailgate is. So this is three quarters to make up for the three quarters difference in it. That's a three quarter inch board and it's been glued and screwed. And then I have drilled holes through all of these about every eight inches all the way around three sides. I don't have to drill it back there because that's where the tailgate's going to go. And if you can picture this side, if we were to just lay this over this away and put it on top of that trail, of course this board needs to be flipped first. But where these screw holes are, will screw into that 2x4. And then the floor will be right here and it'll be flush. And that will be the outside and you won't be able to see the floor. Well, I finally got the ends done. That's the tailgate. It's a three-quarter inch gap all the way around three sides and the top is flat. And the hasp will go up here, which will help hold the box together in the back. And the hinges will go on that end. And this is the front of the box. Raise this up and get out of the shadows. And uh, it's offset two and three quarters inches. And three quarters on the bottom and the top is flat. So the whole trail is flat and all the sides extend three quarters inch past the deck, the floor, which is under all that cardboard. And these two by fours is just to give strength to that plywood and keep it primarily from warping. And that's the two sides. We did have some really rough looking plywood. They need to change the uh, planing blades a little bit earlier than they did. And so all I got to do is flip that over, put the front on it first, and I might have to run a board from the front to over here somewhere and just temporarily hold it in place, and then put the sides on it and hook the sides to that end, and then I can put the hinges on it and put the tailgate on it, and that'll be just about it.